everybody, Wolf is back with another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> That's what everyone doing. <laughs> anyway, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I hope everyone's doing good. Okay, let's get to work here. Uh, all right. Last episode, we actually went over and took on dual cave spider spawners. Okay, now. Um, I, I based the water walls on, um, some old mechanics that I had used. Uh, I had to make an adjustment to it, uh, to the water curtain where the sources of water are, um, because I found something out. So, uh, before I get into, uh, the build I want to do today, let me go over the change. It's a really simple, easy change. Hopefully, if you've by any chance built this already ahead of time, it's just a simple change. Otherwise, if not, just make this adjustment as you build it. All right, guys? So, here's that clip. Here we are, guys, over at the um, Cave Spider Farm, and uh, I have to make a quick update on this one. While I was out here, down here, out here, wow, it's early in the morning, I haven't had enough coffee yet, um, I noticed there was a slight problem with this design. Uh, let me get in here, and, okay, the spiders did come up here, but... Um, I noticed one thing, they didn't drown. And the reason is, if you look right here, this actual little bit of air cap actually allowed them to breathe. <laughs> Believe it or not, because the size changed. Um, then they get pushed over here. Their little size. Now see, I, I can't get there because I'm, I'm, my head's too big. But because they're now slightly smaller, their head area gets them up into this little bit of air on the ground. And they're able to breathe. Well, there's a simple fix to that. I mean, let's just take this all out here. And all you're going to do is, and I can bring the water buckets. <laughs> uh, go figure that Okay, quick clip change. Good way to prepare there, Wolf. Uh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, um, let me show you how to repair this really quick. Not in a repair, but change it. All you want to do is you want to take the water source that's on this block and just apply it to that block right there. So all you're going to do is you just take your bucket of water and just move it. block okay and then all you're going to do is then simply put a block down here to get rid of those water sources this will stay as your water curtain with no problem it won't change anything okay let's get up here now if you look there's a change in the size of the air pocket that's in there where it was before you had two of the pixel uh, four of the pixels there kind of like now we have the, like the two block pixel thing there I got a guy that's trapped over here, so let's um, see what we can do with this guy here. So I get poisoned. Let's put these ones back in temporarily. Okay. Okay, now see. He's definitely trying to move. You see, he's actually finally starting to take it. He's drowning. There he goes. Okay. Let's take off the hitboxes. Okay. So that right there will definitely uh, allow them to, to die and not clog up the system. Um, 
since the water mechanics changed a slightly little bit, as well as the size of the cave spider spawners, that uh, caused a slight problem with the fact that that little bit of water gap actually still allowed them to breathe. So I'll just make this simple little change, and besides it might actually look a little better because we take away this lip thing anyway, and the curtain still remains the same. It's not really a big deal. And then of course you just recover it up like this. Alright guys, so that's pretty much that fix for the spider farm. Um, I haven't uh, worked on the auto kill system for it yet. Uh, I'll be looking at that slightly later. I'm working on getting this cleared out so I can get a nice room built and stuff like that, alright? Okay guys, thanks. And there's it is, guys. It's a simple, easy fix on the uh, mob farm for the cave spider spawners. So, today, I'm going to be working inside the base. And I think I've come up with an idea of what I want to do for the uh, skeleton spawner farm that I have here. Because, um, uh, if you remember correctly, I said I was going to originally come up with a, a, a nice mural that I had. Unfortunately, it took up too much of the base. So I had to come up with something different, and what I just—this is still—I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, and it started raining. It figures. Hopefully, we won't get too glitchy. Can we sleep yet? Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. That's going to get taken care of. Um. So anyway, uh, I have an idea for what I could do here. Okay, which is actually the farm level. Uh, you guys may have caught glimpses of this level here and there. And uh, this is this is the farm level. Most of the stuff I'm, I'm happy with. Uh, I'm not too happy with the sugar cane farm. The reason being is this is based off a design that I, I had before. And when they came out with 13.1, they changed how the uh, observers um, check stuff. Which changed how this operated and unfortunately kept my piston heads sticking out instead of pulling them back in and stuff like that. So I had to go to an old style of, okay, putting in there and then it just uses all of them and pushes all of them out one time when, when uh, the sensor gets it. So it's not as efficient as it should be. So probably what I'll do is I'll probably break out the back of this and put in a flying machine that'll, that'll farm stuff for me behind. I'll keep this what you see in front of us and unfortunately when I designed this level I designed it around this design and uh, the framework for it working so I only have I, so I gave myself a limited amount of space um, I mean the farm works I, as you can tell I get stuff that I need and I don't have to worry about farming it does it all on its own so why should I really complain right guys and of course I got my small little kelp farm now this one this is the farm I'm most disappointed in um, unfortunately because I limited myself to this kind of a level of six spaces, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up with a regular push down farm behind. I'm going to leave this again, like I'm going to do with it behind. I'm probably going to change it to a, a push down farm, but uh, I don't have no rails or nothing under there, so sometimes this stuff gets stuck on these little grass area or farm areas and stuff, and it's just. But I still get drops. It's, it's not as good as I would like it to be. I mean, I've, I've already cleared some of it out. And of course, you know, the vine farm. The uh, cactus farm is working really good, actually. Um, this is my uh, charcoal machine with my uh, that also feeds into my um, furnace. The mushroom room. It's the shroom room, man. <laughs> Probably a lot of the young guys won't understand that one. And, of course, we've got the cocoa bean farm. And the smelter system going up. The lava smelters. This is what I uh, smelt the stuff with lava. So that's pretty much all the basic farms. I still have a couple more farms to come up with. i got to build the um, nether wart farm. I have to build a squid farm. I'm in the process of working on the slime chunk farm. Uh, and I'm trying to think if I've got anything else. And I do, so I now have a zombie skeleton and a spider farm. And I was just coming up with fixing them up nicely. So that's what we're here to do now. <laughs> so, okay, I think that's enough of me rambling on. Let's kind of get down to it. Um, I know probably one of the things I'm going to do is, this is the drop shoot right here. 
for the skeletons. I'm probably going to center that right here so that it drops here. So that's going to change a little bit, which will affect things up there a little, but not a big deal. Um, the spawner is right where these these blocks are, if you remember correctly. You know, that's, I always put these here to let me know where the actual spawner is on uh, the XYZ coordinate thing and stuff like that. So, now what I need to do is figure out exactly how I'm going to build this. Um, so, I'm going to work on one side of the walls, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so I know I was going to come out. I uh, don't need you, don't need you, so give me you, and give me you. Um, let me start on the... <laughs> That's me typically falling down. We start on the corners here. Uh, okay, so let's clear you up for right now. Um, all right, what do I want to do? Let's see. I know it's going to come out a corner like that. You gotta hit that one, dummy. Okay. So I gotta go up from there, and then we'll go. So let's get the whole base up. Alright, we're gonna come high enough. Not high enough. Okay, so we're gonna come down to here. Get you guys some lighting here. Let's say, let's come out, let's do something like this, right? Okay, I'm going to do something like that. You know what, let's, right, let's not, let's go out one more, let's bring it out one more. Okay, so we'll go one more here, right? Come here and we'll go here with this. Alright, so we're going to have, how about we come out, alright, and that's going to be, come out like that, okay, how are we looking there, alright, switch up the spoon, So how are we looking there? Alright. Then probably what we're going to want to do... And my crafting table is on the other side. <laughs> Alright. So I have to match that. And then what am I going to do on the bottom? What am I going to do on the bottom? Let's see. We want to... i got to cover this somehow. So i got to come up with an idea that will into this a little bit. Alright, so it looks like I am going to need some of my half slabs. Alright, let me mirror this other side. Let me get some half slabs and then figure out what I'm going to do in the center. And then this back part is going to be black. Alright, so let me go grab that stuff and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, guys, here we are. Um, it chiseled out this little mess too so we can see a little bit better. Uh, I mirrored the both corners here. Alright, uh, so since I'm going to be putting the drop shoot here, I'm going to have to do something to kind of mirror it to give it that symmetry type look. Um, yeah, I don't have, I have to keep a symmetry, but why not? Okay, so let's get a fake drop shoot here. Come on, come on, place, 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 place. Okay, we know that the floor is going to be somewhere around here. Oh, okay, let me do this. Okay, I'm going to bring you across to here okay so yeah you're gonna go here and you're gonna go here let's bring you across here now of course those are lower half slabs so I don't have to worry about lighting on that um, and then probably I will do something all right so that's no actually that's not what it's gonna go there we're probably going to go here is some more of this a little bit for now. And then we can come, because that's where we'll be dropping stuff here. So we'll do something here. 
here, here, right, okay. Which we then, I think we present that down to here, so then I can now have, say, something down here to help cover the redstone, right, come out along here in the corner. And of course, then the floor will be one block higher than what I'm standing on right now, of course. Um, now, I have to drop it a little bit because, well, unless I raise that shoot up a little bit, so I can have my doggies down here. Alright. So then we kind of come in here a little bit, which is good. Alright, good. I'll do something stylish with this. I'm not quite sure yet. And then up top, get over here. Probably gonna change out some of these blocks too. Like these back ones will probably be brick. And I gotta fix that. So that won't be in place. Um, so you can go, you can go, you can go. Because that'll be filler block. That'll come up. Actually, this is this. No, because I will have those coming across. Alright, which is fine. And I'll have that go here, right? So then the rest of this will get filled in. Okay. And then I have these half slabs that will go here. Okay, actually, we'll put a stair block there. And a half slab there. How's that sound? Look good? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so then those will probably change out to brick. And I will probably hide in a light source behind here a little bit. Um, so now the question is, do I want to, let me, let me spoon back, do I want to carry that feature all the way across or leave it as is and see what we got. I might leave it as is. All right, so let me switch out the back brick area to, uh, for this black concrete and then we'll come back and see how everything looks. Be back in a moment. And here we are. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here we are at the top. I kind of redid the upper part of the uh, shoot area. So in case somebody's down there uh, AFK, I can actually watch them fall to their doom. Uh oh I guess I haven't slept in a while. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Uh, let's kill some of these guys real quick, guys, before we go down and... Well, we got two, right? Okay. Ooh, I got one! Come on. Come and get me. Come and get me. And you're dead. <laughs> right in the face. Alright. Let's get down and pull up. <laughs> so... I changed up the rock to um, to the locks and stuff because uh, hopefully this will be like like branches and stuff, uh, not branches, roots coming down and everything. And I come on down here to where the main part of the build was, and this is what we have. All right. Um, this part is going to be a little bit different because that's where the chute goes up. Okay, let me get this XP so before it disappears. Now, let's get a sideway look. Uh, so you can get an idea of what we're looking at. I have to clean all this stuff up and make walkways and stuff. But this is... Let's get that out of here. This is what we're looking at, guys. Alright. Essentially this. Get, get over here. Alright, and there's the corners and stuff like that. Here's where the chute is. And here's, of course, this side with the chute and everything. Alright. So... As you can tell, you hear them falling. You see I'm getting the XP. I got my puppies here. Got the doggies. So I get my XP. And, of course, I'll build the storage and stuff underneath. And all you got to do is come right here. If you got to attack them yourself, you just use your axe. Don't use your sword because you'll hurt the dogs. So use your axe. But you shouldn't have to because, you know, you have your dogs here. And uh, they won't, you know, you won't have to worry about it. Now, the story behind this is... When I was going with the mural, it was going to be a black mural with the bone being the picture of the skull. So what I did is I kind of kept it that same thing. 
I went with the black and of course the bone, but this is a skeleton, uh, like portal. It's bringing in the evilness of the undead into the world, which is what the planting of the tree that is going to go here is trying to fight. It's fighting against all the the, the mobs and stuff. I mean, I've got a whole storyline I'm working on, and that's part of it. So the, these skeletons are being ported in in this like little box here, and we're we're taking them out. So that's kind of the whole idea behind this, and that's why I have the black and then the white. And stuff like that. Um, as I develop more about what's going on and stuff, I'll actually start getting into the story, into the episodes, maybe throw in some uh, music with it and everything. So that's it, guys. I mean, we've got, we finally got our face, our new face on how the skeleton grinder looks. And you see, Donkey's doing their job with full armor and everything, and they are doing good. You can still see their tail, so if you gotta, you know, heal them up, you can see what they need and stuff like that. And that's it, guys. We are done. And now I can actually build a, a um, deck around here, around the form, farms and stuff. And then underneath is where I'm going to be putting up the, the uh, storage area so I can finally actually get some uh, storage going on that I don't have to keep moving. And that's uh, it for today. So thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. We really appreciate it. Y'all take care now. Bye.